In this video, I'm going to show you how to, to solve this differential equation, how to get the general solution. The given is dy over dx is equals to 2y over x. Our first step here is to separate the variables. Let the y's at the left side of the equation and the x's are the, the right side, side of the equation. As you can see here, 2y is here, they are all y's, and dx is at the right side, dx over x. Now we, we will multiply that to, to 2 in order to eliminate the, the 2 at the denominator. By multiplying it at both sides of the equation, you will see uh, number 2 is already eliminated and 2 is uh, already included here. And by integrating both sides, if we integrate that, the result would be ln y, or integration of y, 1 over y, dy. And at the right side of the equation, that would be 2 ln x plus c. You can include plus c. In this step, we got to exponentiate to cancel the ln's because this is the time we are going to cancel ln by uh, exponentiating it because e raised to the ln is uh, equivalent of 1 so exponentiate it uh, the, the both sides of the equation by exponentiating it you must uh, do, do this at um, logarithm uh, because log logarithms uh, has this kind of uh, uh, rules, you can turn these two at the at the arguments uh, uh, exponents. This is this is the argument. You can uh, you can place that two there and eliminate the two uh, in front of uh, ln plus c. And after that. The ln and the e's are eliminated. As you can see, it is already eliminated. Here's what it's, uh, it remains. x squared times e raised to the c. Although there is still uh, an e there, we, we can eliminate that, uh, that by uh, letting e raised to the c is equal to c. Since c is a, is a constant, it can be any, any constant. Like in this example, it can be any any constant. E raised to the first power can be 2.71. 1 is not equal to 2.71, isn't it? Not the same because C can be any constant. And after that, by arranging it or substituting C to E raised to the C, this is the, this is the result. And arranging it to a proper way, y is equal to c times x raised to the second power, and this is our general solution or our, or our uh, uh, final answer. I hope this makes sense. Thanks for watching.